Happy Friday! Good morning, y'all. This is Leslie with Trent. Oh. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday! I just thought I would get on here this morning. Can't get my chair situated, but I'm going to keep rolling with it. Um, But I just wanted to, I'm going to tell y'all, I, I am, I'm kind of, my brain is not working quite right today. I have pulled out, I've pulled out pages for a whole, for like another journal or two over here and an old envelope vintage envelope uh all of that kind of stuff i've got so many things on my brain check it out you like my new desk maybe i can stay in center and focus i can still see our 500 under there i love it but um again y'all i don't think i even said hell i don't think i said uh welcome well welcome y'all let's do our let's do our look got our book here let's do our high let's do our uh I like the happies. Let's do our happy happies. Because y'all make me so happy. Okay, let's... I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. I did not mark these. Love mercy. Oh, look at me. I didn't mark them. Okay, but we're going to start with Sharon Hearth. She uh, has a YouTube channel, y'all. Go check her out because she's fabulous. She's got some great, great, great teachings. Rhonda P., lives in and she has um she has a youtube and she it, it's Rhonda p and on instagram she's a little bit french she lives in the desert of arizona okay now this one y'all i love this name la fabrique de lulu did y'all notice an accent in there is that not a wonderful la fabrique de lulu you know, Lulu's my girl. But uh, she lives in Canada, not my Lulu. But Kath W. lives in Albany, Oregon. Y'all, welcome, and thank you so much for your sweet, sweet, sweet comments. Everybody, y'all, just leave the most fabulous comments. I feel so spoiled. I mean, just spoiled. Well, okay, I, I just kind of needed some inspiration this morning. So, when I need inspiration... Guess what? I get out my girl. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look for just a minute. I'm just gonna y'all look at her. Isn't she beautiful? But I'm just I just need to look at her for a minute. And I thought y'all might want to look with me. I've got a flip through of of her on my YouTube. First video I ever did, God love it, was on my was on YouTube. And this was my first video. Well, how did I do that? Oh, see? <laughs> oh, my babies. My memories. My little moments. But I love this journal. I love everything about it. Everything it represents. And it has such a variety in it. And that's... I love that. And that's what I, that's what I felt like I needed to see this morning was some variety. Cause I I just need to see how I put how I put these papers in. I I thought this I'm going to tell you even if I did make it myself this is exquisite. I absolutely love this journal, and um. I just needed to take a look back at her, and see see how creative I was because this was this was a very creative journal that I made. I love it. This me and my brothers, my band nerd brothers and me, isn't that beautiful though? I just needed to, I just needed to look again. Let me take that off. Is that not beautiful? Y'all, under here I've got. These are some of my favorite things from 2018. I put this, I used to put this in every the front of every one of my journals. And it's Happy New Year to me, to the many blessings it will bring, whatever they may be. This is my year, 2018. And in a card for Mama, in 2002, on a card for Mama, today, and I, 
and in all your days to come, believe in your heart that everything is going to be all right. I love that. So I thought I would put that in here. Isn't that beautiful? I can't remember who that page was now, to be honest with you. I can't remember how I had this in here, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think it was like, was it like that? Or like other way around? Was it like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the way it was, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I miss my idea? I missed my clip. So, y'all, I'm just kind of, you can tell what I'm doing. I'm just kind of yammering, okay? I'm just kind of yammering. See, that was, that was, I had to do, um, I had to do something like that, and that was my, I forgot even what that one was. But in, didn't I do a beautiful job right there on the layer? And I'm going to have to say, I did. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, I just needed some inspiration this morning, and I thought this is where I would look. I just thought I just needed to see. I needed to see something different. I don't know if y'all ever get like that, but... I, I do. Maybe I'm just feeling sentimental this morning. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a card from my mama. And I've got it with some... With some uh, uh, shorthand. Because mama always did shorthand for me. I must be missing Mama this morning. Look, isn't that cute? I got a little envelope right there. I don't have anything in it. I need to make something to go in it. There's my girl on her resting day. That girl's been through the ringer. Y'all, this is a... This, of course, you know is Mama's. But this little piece of fabric right here... That My mom made me an Easter dress when I was in the seventh grade, and it was made out of that gorgeous, gorgeous eyelet. And I, oh, I just, I love it. So I, you know, I always kept it. I've still got it, matter of fact, well, what's left of it, because you know what I did? I took it apart. I took it apart. I still have the bodice. That's all together, but I took it apart when I uh, was pregnant with Courtney, our my first child and my first daughter. I took it apart and I made her I made her diaper stacker. That's when everybody did diaper stackers. I made her diaper stacker out of that dress. It was a little bunny. Oh my word, y'all. He was cute. But everything that I made for her had accents of that. She had one wall of our bedroom and her bumper pads, everything. They had um I had embroidered and put different designs and I, that was the focal point of each of those designs but yep that was my easter dress mama made me oh i love this journal i love it so much i just needed i guess i needed to see it this morning here's my mama and sweet by and by But I just needed to see something different. Isn't that beautiful? I love that little belly band. Y'all forgive me. See, now there's um, where I used an envelope in a journal. I was talking about that with someone. I can't, y'all, I apologize. I can't remember who I talked with, with what, but about what, but, um, that's out of an embroidery magazine uh, book. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. I had forgotten I put that in there. That's beautiful. Oh, my Lulu. Why this is pretty. Oh, my word. Y'all, my cousin Kenny, this this prompt was on the on the cards. This was tag two when we did the um 
52 tags handmade and I forgot it was heart I think and this is what this is what I did my my cousin Kenny the most y'all I guess this is down memory lane today y'all bear with me I may just make this video for me and I'll make y'all another one but um my cousin Kenny just a knucklehead I mean a knucklehead precious precious guy you look at Kenny and he's smiling he was always smiling well he um he passed away last year on January the 10th he pa he passed away he had covid found out he had covid on a Tuesday and I believe it was a Sunday he passed away he was a DJ loved to DJ oh he was he was a nut he was a precious precious man I always got me and Debo in trouble, though I will say that when we were kids. That's right. He did. But you know what? We loved him anyway. He was a mess. Amen. If you're watching this, you and Debo, I'm thinking about y'all. Isn't that pretty? I just put that together real quick one day. Because it looked pretty. Right here. <laughs> right here with this. This was a piece of... Uh, this, I already had this done up. It was just a piece of ephemera that I had floating around. And it was perfect right there. I love this. Oh my, that gorgeous piece of lace, look at this. That's my daddy, my beautiful mama, and cutie patootie me, what not cute baby. I was so cute. <laughs> y'all, forgive me. Oh, my goodness. I'm all teary-eyed. Isn't that beautiful? 55, I think that's a 1955 uh, newspaper. I did a cross-stitch of this for my mama. Old home place. I sure did. She loved old chimneys. I look this beautiful piece from Ruby and Pearl. Oh, I love this. That's an altered paper clip right there. Well, kind of. I, I thought it was altered. Well, it is altered. How's that? I hope I'm even videoing 13 minutes down memory lane, y'all. Isn't that beautiful, though? Oh, my goodness. I just love it. 1950. Let me put my... Let me alter it real quick and put it back up there, y'all. <laughs> let me do that. I put that up there. There we go. Our altered paper clip. And my paper that my, my Chandler did. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Just walked outside and we did that. He did. Mimi, let's do this. Isn't that cute? I've never done one of those. That is cute. We need to do one of those. We need to do that. Oh, that's cute. It's just little scraps, y'all. And I stamped. See, I needed to do this. Now that is an altered paper clip right there. Ta-da! And more just little scraps. See what you can do with scraps? And they're beautiful in a journal. I mean, they're beautiful. Isn't that pretty? My high school graduation, Miss Nellie and Miss Elma gave me that. 
Spinster Sisters from church. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I did good. I did really good. My mama and G and Emily. There's Emily shorthand. <laughs> How cute. I tucked it in my envelope. Best book you'll ever read right here. Now, see, I was talking with somebody this morning, whatnot, I think. Hey, whatnot. We were talking this morning about the differences in our in my printer. Well, this is a difference, whatnot, in the printer. See, see how it came, see how pinky this is? Let me go get the book, and I'll show you the difference. We were talking about that. Where's my book? Mrs. Wiggs. Oh, hush, boo-boo. Y'all, every time I get up out of my chair, boo-boo fusses at me. He does. He fusses at me. So, let me show you. <clears throat> See the differences in the print here? The color of the print. This is with my Eco Tank. She asked which printer I use. And this is printed with my Eco Tank. But you see the difference? It, the, if I had printed this in my HP, it would have looked, my, my, my copy would have looked almost identical with these colors. It would have picked up every bit of this color and it would have been that color. But in the Eco Tank, it turns it pinky. See how pinky it turns? Okay, that's just a little throw in there. Well, that was a pretty good idea to look at that because... That's the difference that now I love my eco tank. Don't get me wrong. It's I like it. That's another cute little idea. Just a little pocket with stuff in it. A little pocket with pockets. Uh, but that's the difference in the eco tank and my HP. But my H my HP loves loves love the loves the ink. So, well, that was a good little thing right there. That was an altered paper clip. Of me and my honey. There's me and my honey, y'all. I love that man. Oh, my soul above. Oh, love him. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that lace. This is the one that has the clip. It has still has the little, the little um thingies on it. Little hooks. Isn't that sweet? And I just used it to add add something to the top of that page. Oh, this is pretty. That Heather, I copied this from Heather. She did a little, um, isn't that image gorgeous? Oh my. But she did a, I got this in a half, in, in a, um, I think this was from Jane Ferguson. Black sheet wool. Isn't that beautiful? That's out of a book. Just where she wrote her name in it. You can use anything in journals, y'all. It, it's just, it's just you, anything. Maybe that's what I needed to see this morning. And see, that's just a little pocket with a doily. Beautiful. Oh, there's my girl scary. That's oh, she scared me that time. I'm just gonna say big, big tag. Look at that, y'all. This is exactly what I needed to see this morning. 
just exactly what you can. This was one of the first collage pieces I did with a wedding book. This is exactly what I needed to see. Maybe y'all do too. Maybe that's what this video. Where'd that go? Maybe that's what this is all about. See, this one was on, I forgot, uh, I fancy or something. I can't remember what that one was. But that, oh, I love it. Isn't that beautiful? It's crooked, but it's beautiful. This is what I needed to see this morning. Not her. She scared me to death. Yes, she did. And see, these are just pieces I, out of a little book. That's one of Kyle. Coffee. It says coffee. That's one of Heather's off her calendar. Here's another thing. I think this is from Jane. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I think it's just gorgeous and perfect right there. My envelope. My accordion. I learned this uh, Rachel from Rachel. Been putting some of my um, notes in keepsake. Daddy fell and broke his right ankle this time. He broke both his ankles one time. It was uh, it was I've never seen anything like it. Isn't that beautiful? Anything, y'all. My fodder school. I hadn't done anything with fodder school. I've got to get busy with it. Oh, I love this. Made that a little pocket. And this was this was a, a piece that Rachel sent. It came in one of her, her things that uh packages that I received and I took it off because I, I absolutely love I love anything she does. Anything Rachel does, I you just can't beat it. But I loved it, and I added, this was on tags, I added this tags and stamps, I think. I added the stamps, tickets and everything, and I, I you know, this is my shorthand and music, because Mama loves shorthand and music, and I just, I've got a square punch thing I picked up for like three bucks at a, I love it too. And I thought when I got that, I thought, I will never use that. I want you to know I do. I just cut squares, and I just popped them right out and stuck them on that. And it's in that, well, my drawer. That drawer always wants to act goofy. <sighs> got it. Oh, my. Well, okay, now. Don't, uh, don't miss the hate. Oh, there's the back. Isn't that cute? This was, I used this for a belly band in another, this piece right here, I used it for a belly band in another journal and I robbed, I robbed it and <laughs> put it right there. Oh, uh, this was a, like, um, um, writing. It was on, like, not penmanship, but on um, handwriting, you know, like fancy stuff. And I thought that was real fancy-like. And then there was my my practice. On a Monday, my Monday checklist was coffee, coffee, lipstick, coffee. That was it. I stamped handmade because it had cute, cute writing on it, too. You know, that handwriting everybody does, I can't do. I just, I cannot. I've tried. It took me, I worked on that for two hours. I can't tell you how many of them I did. But it was two hours worth. <laughs> this is just a strip off of, that's a strip off the 1950s calendar that I had back in here. I had to cut it down and I, I just took that as part of it and stamped, you know, the numbers for, that was prompt 17. Look, I think this is one of my the most creative things I did in here. Look, that was the last piece of lace I had of that. 
And I just made, isn't that adorable? That's beautiful. I just made a little tag out of it. I made a little tag in a little beady pocket. And that was prompt 22. I just put that in there and put these pages in behind it. And look how beautiful that was. That was beautiful tucked in there. I put that lace here and that was the last little bit of it and I just made it a pocket. Uh, let's see, it was more of the handwriting. That was originally what I did because I was so frustrated. Oh, that's just, these are, this is beautiful. This girl is gorgeous, y'all. That's my girl right there. That was a great, I y'all, I'm, y'all may not have enjoyed that, but I needed to see that. Because I feel like my work has just become, um, you know, kind of, all. I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel out of whack with it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to stop this here and I may add a little bit more to it and we'll go from there. But I'm going to stop it here for now. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, doke. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Happy Friday. I'm back. So... I, um, I figured out the word that I was looking for. I figured out what it is that I was looking for and what I feel like is a hang-up kind of somewhat in my journals and that I feel like I'm forcing. I feel for, I feel like I'm forcing my journals. Does that make sense? I don't feel that they're something in the last couple of days that I've worked. That's why I had to just stop and do some, um, that's why I just stopped and did some collage. I just was not, I don't know. I just had a real off feeling, off kind of feeling. And I think that's what it is. It's I feel like I, I'm forcing it, my journal to come together. And this is what I needed to see. This, because this is just, I needed to look back at my, my journal. Junk journal January. I needed to look it back at that and isn't that pretty? I just needed to look back at that and um yeah, that's what I needed. So I don't know if that will benefit any of you this morning. I have no idea. Yeah, this this video probably gonna flop, but that's pretty much what I think I've got for this morning. So, um, I, uh, yeah, I thought I would just share that with y'all. I thought maybe if I'm kind of feeling like I'm in a slump, maybe y'all are too. I thought, y'all, I have to tell you this. I thought this was so cute. I did not know that first issue, first, I didn't know, like, uh, what are these called? First, first day envelopes. I didn't know that was because that was the, the first issue of that stamp. I didn't know that's what that meant. And I may not still not have it right, but I got tickled. And I I got tickled too. This fella must have been this uh whoever lived at 601 Elmwood Avenue in Shreveport, Louisiana, they must have taken this with them and mailed it on vacation. Because this is, they mailed it from their address to their address, but they ma they mailed it from Georgetown, South Carolina. So that's what I'm thinking. I thought that was really cute, but I love the patina on this. This is from my my darling friend Donna, Miss Donna, and I think that is going to be, I think that's going to be my cover right there. Yes, I do. I think that will be the cut my cover. I'll flip through this journal and show y'all what I've got. I pulled this out. This has been floating around. I cut it apart, and, and I'll cover that. I'm sure. I've had this floating for a while, too. I'll cover that part. I love those little bitty pages. I've, had, I've put this in and out of three, diff, three or four different journals, and it just... And that, you know, I'll cover that, but, uh, and maybe I won't. Maybe I'm covering up too much in my journals. I don't know. I will have to cut that page down a little bit, but I love that print. 
a little bit of start of a scrappy do right there. This is out of my typing book. Not that, you know, I've, just, I've, I've explained that. I, I did not take typing classes. You can see I've done this one three or four times and peeled the paper off of it, but I absolutely love this right here. Love it. So it's going in this journal, and I love this. But this is what I've got here. Book out of a, a kid's book, but I love the large the large print on it. I thought that was really pretty. And I'll not, I probably won't put anything on this. I'll probably layer something on top of it, you know. But this is what I've got for this one. See, I've already started there. That's the other side. I love that, though. That's just, I think that was from Took. I'm not sure, but I, and it may not be. If this is your digital and it's not Took's, I apologize. But I printed a lot of hers and a lot of Rachel's off in, um, I'm going to say somebody else's, too, in um, on just black and white on coffee dye paper. That's coffee dye paper. And... I love the effect of it. I absolutely love the effect. I love vintage vintage black and white or creamy colors and vintage creamy color and black. That That's just a favorite of mine. And see, I'll layer that. I'll have to stagger that so I have layers. I have to have layers to look at. That's I guess that's part of my style. Everybody develops their own style and... I think that's what makes us all so unique. But that I, this is going to be a journal, y'all. Put it together just a few minutes ago, right before I came back on screen. I hope I've even been in center. And I hope y'all like my new setup. If you don't, I'm so sorry, but I've got I've got to be able to keep keep myself in gear. I have to keep myself in line. <laughs> Oh, goodness, I had to confess to my honey last night because I, I bought some antique books but I bought, and I bought too much, but I had to confess. And it was I, the last thing I said, okay, that's my, there you go. That's my last true confession, and I'm exhausted now. That took everything I had, <laughs> and that was true. I had to go to bed after that. He worked so hard for us, and I work. I work part-time, but... He worked so hard for us, and I didn't want him to think I was just being really, really frivolous, but I really kind of was. I have a thing for antique books, as most of us do. But okay, y'all, I think that is Friday's. I think that is Friday's video. I hope that you ha I hadn't bogged you down too much, and that you enjoyed this, and that you've gleaned something from it, and um, we'll just go from there. All right, y'all. You know I love you. Bye, y'all.